Well, hi there. Colin Lamb here. Hope you're doing very well wherever it is that you may happen to be. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. Cheers to you and cheers to me. Let's get a little beer going here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a track by Periphery called Blood Eagle. Um, I'm going to see Coheed and Cambria, a band that I've recently kind of dipped my toes into. And I'm excited as hell to see them live because I've been told now uh, through a couple of reactions that I've done on the channel that they're one of the best live acts going. And uh, I've also watched a couple of live videos uh, um, and I have some recommendations from dear personal friends whose opinions I respect greatly. Um, and all signs point to it being a fucking tremendous show. Now, apparently, it gets even more tremendous because on the same bill is a band called Periphery <laughs> and another band called Intervals, of whom I know nothing about. Um, Periphery. Um, I'm, I think because I've just loaded up the video that I'm going to be checking out, Blood Eagle, and it went a little bit, it went right in it. It seems like a bit genty, genty, genty. Um, and I don't want to age myself, but back when I was listening to metal, you had melody, you had crazy guitar solos and long hair and rampant, rampant uh, suggestions of violence. So will this be that? I don't know. A lot of the newer metal, uh, I've not been into it. Kind of dies in my earlobes, but I'm going into this experience with a positive um, expectation and outlook and, and hope, and we'll, hopefully it delivers. Um, and you know what? I've seen a lot of bands live that I wasn't a big fan of beforehand, and, and afterwards I've ended up really liking them. So let's let's get right fuck into this. Let's pull up this video, and let's let's listen to this thing. Maybe it will be more than what I expect. Anyways, did it <laughs> I don't know. I did hear a few seconds of it. The bald head bang just doesn't work. Oh, we got a baldy in the band with the hood on. Gotta keep that dome warm. You know what, if you're not going to have a lot of melody in a song, you may as well do the fuck out of the rhythm, and they certainly are making the most out of that. Guitars of many strings. I, can, I think I could see myself enjoying this live. I think as I've aged, I've, I've, I've kind of aged out of metal, and I don't, maybe it could be an attention span issue, but I, I just, I can't sustain this intensity in many things for much longer than uh, a couple of minutes. That's, that's getting into my personal life, though. That's none of your fucking business. Oh, I'm gonna have a fucking seizure here. Ooh, I didn't see this coming. Kind of cool. Tightens your neck up, doesn't it? Those are some tuned down guitars. I think. Ooh, 
lot of wristwatches in this video. Is it three guitars? I think there's three guitars. Wait, this guy? The guy with the white guitar. This guy, that's two. Three. Or is that a bass guitar? Yeah, it's a bass guitar. Wake up for one! King of the Lord and Lies! We'll drop when it's been repeated in the heaven of words of God! Surrender the idols! Surrender the world is everyone to die! That was very intense. Uh, I, I don't know if I have it in me in me anymore to really... <laughs> I just don't think I have the juice to sustain something like that in my ears. I mean, maybe I'm just getting fucking old. I don't know. Um, my critiques of, of the that kind of music, which I, I, because I'm, I'm ignorant to maybe what the real definitions are, it's like that gent music. It's new, newer metal. Um, I, I find that a lot of that stuff's formulaic, but listening to that, there were some pretty nice dynamics. Uh, another criticism I have um, is pertaining to the sound of these things. It sounds like shit lined up on a MIDI track. A lot of the stuff sounds like fake drumming. The first half of the song, I thought there was it, it didn't sound that way. It didn't catch my ear anyways. Towards the back half of the song where you had the, the double kick and stuff like that, it, it did seem a little, um, just not fake, it just seemed a little... A little at this point punishing maybe my bald soul just can't handle that kind of punishment anymore and you know it was like an, um yeah, leave him alone he's already dead kind of situation that just like boom, boom, laying over my corpse boom, 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 I'm, it's just burbles and blood coming out of me at that point in the song don't know really know where i'm going with that violence I suppose is what's been inspired to me by listening to that. Um, the guitar solo was quite quite tasty. We'll take a hard right turn there, away from my bludgeoning death. I guess it is called the Blood Eagle. Uh, of course, I only know the same thing that most people who had the History Channel for about fifteen years knew about the Blood Eagle. It was some Viking ritualistic uh, death. I wouldn't call it a torture. It was a bit of a celebration. The vanquished foe uh, and the, the eagle with the ribs. Very traumatizing to see that sort of thing. Don't know why I ever had to see that. It could have been implied and then they could have shot it with shadows and stuff. But it was pretty graphic in the show. Uh, Vikings there. But yeah, no. Couldn't catch a lot of the story. The singing was a little um, intense. Uh, very hard to get on a first listen. Some of this metal stuff. Um, which I'm okay with. I listen to a lot of bands that, that are, are metal bands. I didn't have an idea what they were saying. I, my, one of my favorite bands in high school was Dying Fetus. And, oh boy, you know, you, you, if you cannot figure out what the lyrics are, you're probably better off. It sounded fucking cool, though. The phrasings were cool. Um, was there melody there? Yes, there was a section um, where they went into a soft kind of emo-esque melody, um, which was nice. Wasn't particularly memorable, uh, memorable, didn't stick in my head in any way. Um, was that a great song for me personally? I, it didn't really hook me in, to be honest. And 
even just a couple of minutes after hearing it's faded out of my head. Not that that's the measure of a great song or great art. These guys are obviously sick musicians. That solo was a lot of tapping, which you don't see outside of this kind of music anymore. But it wasn't the kind of tapping where it's just like, okay, buddy, finish it off. It was, it was, it was a pretty good solo performance, I would say. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to like about that. The vocalist, uh, fellow Baldsman, uh, Brothers of the Shining Dome, uh, Unite, Sunscreen, or a a ball hat, whatever you can do. I've tweaked this lighting here so you can't see the very prominent tan line um, where my work hat obscures my shining beacon from the sun. But, uh, I, you know, I, I did enjoy that video. Um, would I listen to Periphery again um, based on what I've just heard? The answer is no. Um, I think I just don't have relatable moments to that music in my life. And what I mean there is like, um, music for me is connective to a moment. Right now, I'm listening to a lot of 70s outlaw country, and I'm living out in the rural Australia, and I'm driving around, mo mostly just working here. And uh, that's that's working man's music. It's just easy listening after music. The songs, the singers convey many characters and their stories and stuff. It's that's a moment that's connected me to that music. I don't know if I have moments in my music in my life that will connect me to. Um, that kind of brutal metal anymore. It's just not, might not be in me anymore. So let me know what you think in the comments. If what you do while you listen to that music, if it's workout music, that's cool. I still listen to Dying Fetus when I do a little bit of workouts, when I do a fucking workout. Um, but let me know what the setting, what the situation for that music is, or if you grew up listening to this kind of music, what it reminds you of. Because, you know, growing up listening to death metal and stuff, um, it was about going to the shows and seeing the bands. I used to go to uh, uh, see a lot of bands in Toronto, a lot of death metal bands that were touring from Montreal and, and uh, some American bands. And that's kind of that fucking wild part of my life. I kind of attribute that music to and I can connect to it directly. But I do find that a lot of the older metal bands, even the death metal bands, the good ones still did pay attention to melody and song composition and maybe that makes them more appealing maybe it's an easy out as a as a musician i don't know anyways those are my thoughts on that um i'm looking forward to seeing them live and i'm definitely going to report back after seeing periphery live with coed and cambrian intervals this november here in adelaide australia where i'm currently living so if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and if you have anything you want me to check out or anything you think i got woefully wrong in this video please let me know in the comments down below cheers take very good care of yourself and i'll see you in a future video